be here. We're starting on the smaller camper that's going to hold me next month uh, at the meet and greet in Galveston. Okay, we're not going to be taking the big trailer. It's too much, but I want to show you all something. Look at these, the life in this one tree. Let's get back to the shark rack. Alrighty y'all, with the shark rack what we're going to be doing is, you know, if you remember my shark rack went like this, went like that, and uh, let's say the tailgate was here, and then these were, this was here, and right up in these areas is where I kept my kayaks, right in there, our kayaks. And uh, what we're doing this time, here's my tailgate, of course, my bumper, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, what we're doing this time is we're taking the, this, the kayak area, and all we're going to do is put flooring down, you know, put a uh, piece of plywood down for us to walk on on our shark rack. And our racks used to be right here. We would get into our truck here and fight the sharks, you know, and put our racks and our poles right like that. Well, now I'm going to build a thing that goes on top of these and our, so our racks are going to go right up here with our poles. We'll be able to walk around up here, walk around up here. And then down here, I'm going to install an AC and closing off this side, the front, the sides, all this. Be able to open this up. There'll be a door right here. And then uh, be able to get in and out and access, uh, sleep in here in the whole nine yards. But uh, and the rack will be up here. So that's what we're going to be doing with the rack. You'll be watching them in the vlogs. So I appreciate everybody watching and uh, let's go do it. Alrighty, check it out y'all. This rack is my, it's upside down right now. I know this is my, um, this is my shark rack. And I think we're going to take it into the back, clean it all up, take all these racks off it and all that. And uh, we're going to make this our camper for the next for three days down at the down at the meet and greet with flip so let's uh take it in back Hey, y'all ever wonder where the shirts, when you make your own shirts, hey, by the way, F and D, look at that phone, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna make you some shirts, dude. You, you do me right. But y'all ever wondered, look at the amount of stuff I got. Look at this weather jacket, too deep on the bag. These are boxes that are up in my office that I'm gonna be doing all the giveaways from and, you know, and pulling new shirts out of here. And I mean, they're just everywhere. So that's the problem with having all these kind of shirts around is. Is that I want to wear a new one every day. <laughs> that's the problem with it. I want to wear a new shirt every day. So we just stack them in there. So uh, if you've ever wondered, these are the shirts we make. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. But uh, that's where all the giveaways, that's where all my great subscribers. Well, this is the rack, y'all. It's been through a lot. Um, but I think I can still use it. We're gonna, um, of course, do something with all this stuff, but we're gonna remove these because the floor will go here and then the new shark rack will, will, will uh, go on top of these and come up this way. So, we'll go out this way. You know, I'm gonna work back here in my shop area. Yeah, I don't get to see much of it, but it's my underground room and stuff like that. But uh, Alrighty, everybody, do. Buddy, this is the back end of it. You know, there's the post right down there. It goes and looks up to the bed of my truck. This is the pole that I always have problems getting in this with. So, since we're going to be moving the top of the rack up to here, I'm going to build a ladder. But right now, as I see it, y'all, I need something in here to hold an AC. 
and we know it's 16 by 12 and a half so 16 and a half by 12 and a half that's what we're going to do so we're going to put a box in here with metal 16 and a half by um 12 and a half right in this area all righty everybody well you know i try to do this like bi-weekly and uh mail sending out um all the people that want on the on the real talk and too deep and all that and uh a lot of people don't know if it's real expensive. And I'm talking, it gets expensive. A lot of people don't know it. I just learned a good rule that I need to get a hold of a buddy. We were going all through this last night and he was right about one thing. And I need to tell him uh, that I was wrong about the other. So, you know, shipping's expensive, you know. It's high dollar, y'all. And uh, so I like to make it worth it. You know, I try to ship, I don't know once a week, twice, once every two weeks, something like that. If not, you're shipping constantly. It's just a non-stop, it's a, it's a monster. It's all you do, you ship, 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 ship. So, hey, might as well throw it in. A great member of uh, James Thomason and John West. Get your stuff right here, man. You're the guys I'm sending it to. Don't forget, if y'all ever want some stickers, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. Self-stamped addressed envelope. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I mean. Makes it easier for me. I take stickers up to the uh, mailbox with me. If y'all send me one, I just put it right back in there and send them off. Two days. Alrighty, you guys. We've got started on the shark rack. Um, Check our future vlogs. You'll see. I'll put it right up in there. Shark rack, shark rack, and we'll watch it as it goes. We'll call it a shark camper. The first ever shark camper. There you go. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. If you've not subscribed, take a second. Subscribe. I absolutely believe it, and that's the only way you get free stuff from me at Too Deep Extreme Fishing TV. Appreciate it, y'all.